Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back from the dead. Just <laughs> in time for back. yeah, just in time for week 15 of the NFL season. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a weird season. Uh, especially it's been a great season. Disappointing. Yeah, I mean a lot of fabulous season. Teams that were supposed to do very well didn't do very well. Teams that were supposed to do pretty poorly did pretty well. So I mean, a very weird season. I have not been here much of the time. I apologize all. to the fans. You <laughs> haven't been watching at all. Yeah, um, I have not been following much, but. <laughs> Now that I'm back, we're here to predict for week 15, start fresh. Let's start with, honestly, what I consider to be the greatest game of the season. It's the classic, now LA Rams versus division rival Seattle Seahawks. We all know Pete Carroll can't beat the Rams. He's just incapable of doing it. They got their number. Yeah, Jeff Fisher was a wizard and they just let him go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they would do that because they were about oh, to finish seven. The week after they signed yeah, a three year deal. <laughs> What's the record right now? Four, Four and nine. They're, on the they're going to win three <laughs> straight. I'm telling you, Jeff Fisher or not, he's put his magic touch on this team. I'm going the Rams. I don't even have to justify myself on this one. All right. Go ahead, David. Uh, I'm picking the Seahawks because I think they're going to ride in hot. I think they're going to go deep into the playoffs. And, and I will say this too. Jeff Fisher did have some sort of magical power against the Seahawks, but like we all said, Jeff Fisher's not there anymore. And, uh, yeah. That's, that's what they want you to think. <laughs> they fired him just for it's this all, game. It's all conspiracy. <laughs> They're going to hire him. They're going to rehire him for more money. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for the Seahawks because uh, it's the Rams. <laughs> yeah, that's typical so, that uh, <laughs> That's exactly why I'm going with the Rams, though. Because oh, they're, oh, playing, oh. they're playing the Seahawks. <clears throat> And it's like, so they're going to lose in December. They have, like, Rams, yes. they have like the winningest percentage in December. <laughs> they're like shit. And they now. just lost. Yeah, and, and, and who, who do they always lose to in December? The goddamn Rams. <laughs> All right, so there you go, folks. It's uh, two Rams, two Seahawks, but I think this is going to be one of the better Thursday night football games of all time. Thursday night football tends oh, to yeah. be like that boring precursor. They get it out of the way, color rush, I don't know what. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, so it's it's especially with, with, with the Rams, like <laughs> less less than two hundred <laughs> <on this laughs> points <laughs> for the whole season. And this week now we're getting an extra day of football. There's a Saturday game. There is. So Saturday. yes, there is. So let's see who's gonna win that one, huh? So for the first Saturday game of 2016, and first one I've seen in a very long time, yeah. probably since last year. Yeah. Around this time. <laughs> yeah. Dolphins at Jets, AFC East matchup. Irrelevant bowl, 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, not really. That's evil. That's I mean, not really. What are you, stupid? The Dolphins are They're not going to win anything. That's what, irrelevant. Yes. I've told you this a million times all year. Irrelevant bowl just means they won't do anything. This game will not have any real implications onto the playoffs. I say this. Are you drunk? They won't win They're anything. They're tied with Denver. But they won't win any game. You can't win. That's not right. Okay. Right. okay. This is very insulting. What do you have winning this game? I just want to say it's very insulting, David. Keep saying it's an irrelevant bowl. How's it every insulting? game. Not except every for the game. Eagles. No, I... Uh, except for the Eagles I, game. No. Oh, those are really relevant the, games. I, no. Let's get back oh. to business here. Okay. <laughs> the Dolphins being in a position to maybe, if they win out... Maybe cling to a playoff spot. It's December. Will obviously, will obviously disappoint because that's what the Dolphins do. They get their nose stuck in the bottle <laughs> container thing and they choke and die. <laughs> so the six pack, so uh, basically, I'm <laughs> saying this: Dolphins. There's just something missing there, and even though the Jets look completely lifeless against the Colts, I believe they won last week. Did they not? Uh, no. No, they didn't. No, no, they, uh, they, they did. did. They, 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 they came yeah. back against the Niners. Oh, they beat the Niners. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, either way. Wow. So the right. Dolphins That's are just like the Niners. Kind of like, <laughs> kind of like, why are you back? Oh, wait. So oh. I'm going with the Jets on this one. I, I was like, like torching what they game. I know. And now the Jets are home. I'm definitely picking the Dolphins. The Jets have no advantage at home. They just have like 12 fans. Jets, Dolphins. I'm going with the Dolphins. I think that I, I, well, I don't think that they're going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to be right there, and I really don't see them slipping up against the Jets. If the Jets were semi competent, then yes. But what they showed me last week against the Colts was inexcusable. That was the worst performance I've seen this year out of a team yeah. by far. I got the Jets. <clears throat> Jets. Oh. J. People e. T. S. Jets. Jets. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens on the actual Sunday game. Because now we're back on regular schedule. Here we have, on the first game of the Sunday schedule, the battle of the letters. <laughs> the Green Bay Packers 
versus the Chicago Bears. Now, I need to take some time because it's been a while since I've been here to just congratulate yeah, the city of Chicago yeah, yeah. on the World Series victory this year Salute. that I have not had a chance to talk about. Salute. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Play. I mean, and one of the best World Series yeah. I've yeah. ever seen. And, and let's just also Thanks, congratulate right. the city itself just for being the city yeah, of Chicago. Yeah, just for being such a fine upstanding town. Yeah. Almost like, you know, almost like a, a city of champions, if you will. I, that's, and, yeah. and, I mean, other other towns, you know, especially in the, in the south of the United States, like Nashville, they, they couldn't hold a candle. No, no, no not even no. close. Um, so anyway, no, that's out of the way. Um, Packers have been hot. Uh, they're leaving town now, though. They're playing in, in Chicago. But mm-hmm. if they could win at Lambeau, no problem. Which, I mean, they're used to it. Um, they're just a good team. And I think they finally have their confidence back. I don't see the Bears winning this. I the Packers. All right, well, I predicted the Packers to make the playoffs after they beat the Eagles on Monday night. Uh, thank yeah, you, yeah, thank yeah. you for yeah. causing us, by the way. So we all, none of us wanted right. to see yeah. the Packers in the yeah. playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. But your Eagles um, obviously have to kill There's still hope for my Super Bowl prediction. Yeah, there There's is. There's still hope. Yeah, so uh, although the city of Chicago is great and it's full of champions. They're not great at uh, football. The Bears this year are definitely not that. I'm picking the Packers. Yeah, I'm going to go with the, bear, uh, the Bears. <laughs> The Packers, Chicago's like Delay. in his blood now. It's like yeah. we've uh, no, 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 corrupted no, no, no. him. The Bears are terrible. Uh, Matt Barkley's playing quarterback. Good uh, lord. Um, so exactly. Good, good lord. <laughs> They're playing well. Jeffrey's back. Yeah. So. <laughs> so what's your prediction? I, I just said Packers. All right. You said Bears first, but then the Packers. Yeah, I just want to clarify. It's a flip flop. <laughs> Eric. Uh, Packers, obviously, because Aaron, Aaron Rodgers finally found his uh, his game again. There you go. Even though he doesn't talk to his family, apparently. That's what I found out during this yeah. whole... They were like, he doesn't talk to his brothers. I wouldn't either if I was a rich and yeah. lived like a thousand Mind miles Mind you, he lives in the middle of nowhere where there's probably no perception. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> there's that too. So, all right, so we got how many, all Packers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, we're all so in the Packers. All a bunch yeah. of cheese heads over here. Next game. Next up, as Johnny coined off camera, the B-Bowl is up next. The Battle of the Beats. <laughs> the winless Browns heading into Buffalo to play the Buffalo Bills, so it's the uh, B B B mm-hmm. bowl. Um, yeah, who do you guys have in winning this? With one? all these bees floating in the air, uh, all I can think of is Chris Berman oh. saying he doesn't think the Browns are gonna finish with no wins, and the Buffalo Bills, with their history of coming up short, <laughs> just <laughs> might nicely, <laughs> yeah, just might slip on this day at home when R G three. If he's not dead, is he died yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Fell off the bus. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to break his arm like on the first plate. <laughs> but that guy's just looking for work for his competition. Imagine if he was That's the one, <laughs> if he was uh, Derek Hart getting his finger, yeah. his, his finger would be like at his elbow. <laughs> he got that He would have somehow oh, fucked yeah. up his knee. Yeah. yeah. Ah, his knee, his bad knee. It's all disaligned now. Oh. But either way, I'm I'm picking the Browns just because not for any reason. They're a terrible team, terribly run franchise, probably one of the worst in history. They'll go down as like the team that never could. Yeah. Uh, but I think they, I think the Bills just, I don't know, I don't see the Bills doing anything this week, so I'm just, I'm going with the Browns. Are these Browns worse than the Lions? Back in the day. No, the Lions were just unlucky and demotivated by their external factors. They, they, like they, they were they were close. You know, to the Lions have games. Calvin Johnson on that team. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's better than the whole rookies Browns. that year. Doesn't, yeah. matter. Yeah. doesn't matter. Second year doesn't matter. Honestly, I'd love to see that matchup though. Browns Lions. That'd be a good uh, Madden simulation. Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Potential yeah. video. Yeah. Huh? So what would huh? you pick, Eric? I'm gonna take the Bills. Okay. At home. Yeah, they're, like I said, they're at home. Uh, Bills. Uh, honestly, I'd I, I really like to see the Browns go 0-16. Uh, just for uh, I know I, I'd probably feel bad for those fans, but you know I just want to see it happen again. It's horrible for the city. Well, I'm gonna pick the Bills because Shane McCoy. Go, go Cleveland. Cleveland. <laughs> Faith in the orange. The land. Yeah, because think about it, they changed the orange, you know, for a reason. It's gonna come in handy I'm telling you. <laughs> on this day. <laughs> I see clearly on yeah. this day. On this day. Next game. Next up, the most important matchup of the week. Nothing on the Ralph and Bowl. Probably of all the time. Bird, the, exactly. The Bird Bowl, the battle of very close neighboring states. Uh, the Eagles ride in to Baltimore to play the Ravens. Um, unfortunately, I have not much to say. Um, please pick. <laughs> Let me start up by saying uh, Carson Wentz. Uh, showed great promise early on. 
Uh, and now it looks like all his problem is up and wince. Oh! 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 oh that's funny. He threw for over 300 yards last week. That's, so, that's thir- you know. 13 weeks of preparation led me to that joke. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I like the Ravens in general. They gave the Patriots a run for the money late. I mean, they didn't they didn't show up early on, and that bit them in the ass, you yeah. know. So, and then they kind of collapsed again at the end of the game. So, you know, the Eagles are a very good team. I gotta say what it is. They're a good team. They're a capable team. Uh, but I don't know. I really like the Ravens, and they're at home, and they're they're in the mix. So, I give it to the Ravens. As a, a slide Eagles fan, as my fantasy football team. <laughs> Thank you for wearing it today. Maybe we'll finally get I'm a supporting, win. Supporting, supporting the the troops. The no. Eagles are three and zero with him watching, by the way. So, oh. Oh, with me, interesting. Oh, zero and three, zero and three. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, we're terrible with that. Yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty. Yeah. So, so you're Eagles. Difference. I'm gonna go for the Eagles because I just have this feeling deep down that they're gonna, gonna pull this one off. They're gonna pull this one off. <laughs> they're gonna play it. They're gonna play it hard. Now that it doesn't matter anymore. No. Like now they're gonna so find, find it. So it's usually what we do. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. Talk to player, right? Yeah. Exactly. I feel uh, like on the line. Not Pressure's so off, guys. Yeah. I, I'm gonna disagree because. It matters to the Ravens if they lose. They they pretty much have to win out to win division. They're gonna come in uh, overconfident in this field. Well, no, I, 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 I will say this, okay? My my mini rant of of my of the. Thing, I wasn't okay? done. Well, yeah, but no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Go. I was gonna say the Ravens <laughs> are gonna win. It's okay, so good. that you were done. So what I'm gonna say is that Eagles played a pretty good game against the Redskins. Uh, whoever the fuck hits that was a clean hit should shoulder. die in a fucking yeah, in the most short. horrible fuck he went in with his fucking shoulder he's four he, he fucking went in it was a disgusting he can't it, was a, it, it was a disgusting <laughs> hit <laughs> fuck that guy monster. Eagles should have won that game uh, we got robbed not because of the refs All, the refs he, he he was was uh, uh, yeah anyways <laughs> Eagles should be Eagles could win this game this baby but I don't know if we will so let's hope for an Eagles victory fly Eagles fly Next game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll call this the boss bowl because you have Titans who are robust versus the Chiefs who are in charge. You know, Chief. And I think the problem with this team is that there's too many Chiefs and not enough Indians, if you know what I'm saying. They left them all in the Redskins. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a long, long night. Anyway. Dave, who do you got? Marcus Mariota versus uh, that Smith guy. Game manager. I don't ever pick against the Chiefs. Mm. I got the Chiefs winning this one. J-Mac, Andy Reid. I love you. Let's Very go. good reasons. Eric? I'll go Chiefs. Mm-hmm. All Chef. right. Great elaboration. Yeah. Uh, Mike? <laughs> uh, I'm going to put, my, uh, I'm gonna put my, my bias in play here a little bit and just pray that the Titans win uh, by running the ball because the Chiefs are very vulnerable to that. No Derek Johnson. So he's Chiefs. praying on the Titans. I, because the Chiefs are an easy pick at home, well, I will pick the Chiefs because <laughs> it's an easy pick at home. Uh, but yeah, I like what they're seeing out of the season. They're a good team. Yeah. They're just a good team. And the yeah. Titans are. <laughs> so yeah, more I think uh, I think we're Chiefsing it out except for this uh, this guy over here. Well, maybe he, it's like my Browns pick. You know, don't yeah. agree with me. We'll see what happens next game. Next up, AFC North matchup: Steelers at Bengals. Mm-hmm. A lot of playoff implications for the Steelers with this matchup. Who do you guys have winning this one? I'm going to go for the Steelers because uh, I'm riding on Roethlisberger because my fantasy football team. <laughs> Where's your Steelers jersey? You should swap it out. Uh, I wish I had the money to, to buy one. Yeah. Oh, you definitely um, don't. So. I really don't. Yeah. Five finger discount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine now. You got to chase me to get it back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. and uh, Le'Veon Bell is just too fun to watch. Steelers. I think the Bengals uh, have always had a discipline problem, and I don't think they're serious enough about, like, when it comes time to work, all athletes are cocky and stupid at most times, and they'll ride, they'll ride their own goodness yeah. to a certain point. But the Steelers have been there. Yeah. So when it's crunch time, they've been there. We saw it in the playoffs when the Steelers beat the Bengals mm-hmm. in a thriller, yeah. because Literally, the Bengals were too busy running off the damn field with the ball yeah. and not realizing that, wait, we still got time. Literally here. running off the Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, so just because I can never forgive them for that. That was their moment to show the world that we're, we're the real deal, and instead they show the world that we're a bunch of clowns who don't know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Steelers. Michael? Uh, this seems like it's one of those uh, games that the uh, Bengals just uh, play spoiler to. And Marvin Lewis keeps his job because of this. So I'm not predicting <laughs> a surprising Bengals victory. Uh, although I, I, I just, I don't know. It'd 
it is like a 50-50 for me. But I just see somebody getting injured on the Steelers because the Bengals always injure the Steelers, and they're going to win by that. Antonio Brown again. Yeah. <laughs> Von Taz Perfect is going to kill somebody. I'm picking the Steelers uh, because the Bengals suck, and I think they're going to fire Marvin Lewis, and then they're going to get back on track next year. Hopefully. Yeah. Because if you're a coach, you can't win in the playoffs. You're not a coach. Yep. Yeah. So, thank you. Up next, we have the bankrupt Detroit Lions. Because the city of Detroit has gone bankrupt at some point in the last two years. Versus the flaming hot New York Giants, who are looking very giant right now. After beating the 11 straight win Cowboys. Thank you for that. Uh, and shutting everybody up. Because, Thank you again. Yeah, they revealed a lot of the weaknesses in that system right there with a bit of luck. But anyway, that's what sports is. So, who you got, Dave? Uh, the Lions. <laughs> you know what? That's you know what? I'm not even... I, I like kind of agree. I want, I want the Lions to win. Uh, the, the Giants did the whole world a favor, shut up the Cowboys yeah. fans, or the, their fans, because we all know, you know they're very diehard. Um, uh, I, I, although I needed a Giants loss, would have helped the Eagles out in playoff uh, implications. Yeah. Uh, we're not making playoffs either way, so Cowboys uh, again, their hopes crushed, and uh, you makes know, you happy. Make, nothing makes me more happy, other than an Eagles Super Bowl would be the Cowboys demise. Uh, but now, the Giants are the, are the problem, I don't want them winning, so NFC's rival, Lions for me. Eric, I'm gonna go for the Lions as well because uh, I just picture the Giants going down like on a big high and then just coming off flat yeah, and being the shit. And I feel like it's any, such a bad offense sometimes. It's so yeah, boring any, to watch. Anytime you put Odell Beckham in the prime time and he does something even remotely good, it seems like he has this massive head that he can't carry yeah. around for a while. Like Plus, he always performs though. Like he always plays really well, mm. but just like. The offense is so boring. <laughs> the, the, oh, they, they, they suck. But anyways, uh, what I was going to say is that the, the Giants' offense played terrible against them. Mm, yeah. It was the Giants' defense that's, that I played know. well against the Cowboys. But I think that's just more detriment to how bad the Cowboys actually really are. Mm. And, uh, you know, but the anyway, Cowboys have been I really using, using good <laughs> clock management with their run well, game. Yeah, Dak Prescott yeah. is literally like a, a stopwatch guy who yeah. just like, stares at his... Yeah. They're the only team that runs more... Than Exactly, pass. and that that contributes to the clock Man, control. We're, we're already talking about Romo coming back, which is yeah. great. I hope he writes the ship straight to an iceberg and they yeah. sink. It's all gonna happen in so, this game right here. Jerry Jones, so, baby. It's all gonna happen there. Yeah, so, I'm, so. I'm, I'm, baby. I'm picking the Lions just because I really like uh, Matthew Stafford. Uh, come back. They're, they're pretty hot now too, right? So I think he's fun, like, yeah, yeah, fun to watch, man. They're a fun team to watch, exactly. And they've been pulling it out of their butts in the late end of the game. So. Always exciting. Seven games. come from behind. Yeah, so uh, good for the Lions. Quarter, come I hope they continue against the Giants. May that team eventually get to good form. They've been so cursed with the retirement of Megatron and all that stuff that I hope just some good comes well, to them. They've been cursed from day one. So. Yeah, uh, I, I was coming into this uh, picking the lines in my head, and I'm being like, you guys are all going to pick the Giants. Minus David because he never picks. Uh, <laughs> we all know he's not going to pick the whole division. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to agree with you guys. Lions are, uh, are honestly, uh, they're a really good team. Honestly, I, I, I like them since the start of the year, but I, I always thought that the Lawyers regress back because I don't really like their coach. I know he's a former coach in Colo. He's not bad. He's just not a very good a motivator. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I, I really hope they do well. Uh, they're probably my favorite team in that division, so, I mean. I don't have one. <laughs> yeah. I don't have one either. I just li I like them. Them and the, them the, and the uh, Redskins. And, oh, the, uh, <laughs> and, and the Vikings, I really like. Oh, yeah. The, the rest oh, yeah. of them, I, I, I don't really like that much. Well, uh, let's all agree. Lions. Go Lions. Go Lions. Next game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there comes a time in life when you have to, you know when you realize, like, as a kid, you think your dad's, like, this hero of yours and all that stuff, then you realize he's a drunk and he... It's <laughs> and dark. Yeah, and, and, he, and he dropped out of school and never told you and, like, married your mother because he had to because you were two months Sounds into exactly term. Like my dad. Anyway. And the, your mother ended up being... Like, I thought the Colts really had something coming into this season. I mean, the defense, not good, but the offense, you know what I mean? Healthy Andrew Luck compared to last year, it had to get better. No, no and no. they show up to the Houston Texans deflated. They can't score for like their Tom life. Like Tom Brady's balls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> terrible. Terrible. Tom Brady caused this on you guys. Horrible. So now this poor team has to play the actually good Minnesota Vikings, go figure, who have only lost any games as you have convinced due to some timely injuries. What do you guys think is going to happen in this game? 
They're in Minnesota. Well, I will also say that uh, you guys have been shit ever since you put up that AFC uh, ever package since, of yeah. appearance. Ever since. Not, not, not winner of uh, the yeah. appearance. Yeah, we made it. Uh, Jim Irsay, you <laughs> idiot. So with that, uh, I really hope the Vikings <laughs> lose even more games because the Eagles have their first round uh, pick this year. I'm picking the Colts. Ooh, big surprise pick. Yeah. I'm going to take the Vikings because it's, it's... I'm sorry, Johnny. Their defense is very good. I would maybe I would consider it as like a surprise win if if the, if Indy was at home, mm. but because it's in the Vikings uh, I agree. stadium, it's a tough place to play in. Wholeheartedly. So uh, it's not cool I don't think it's gonna be a blowout though for sure. It's gonna be a tight game and it's gonna come down to maybe a last second uh, score. All I'm gonna say is this is literally the worst possible matchup for the Colts. Yeah. The worst. Yeah, like you is. cannot run on the Vikings. And they have a very good secondary yep. when healthy. Yep. Uh, so basically, Luck is going to make some good passes, but he's going to make some terrible ones because your whole line can't block for more than like a second. So if you can't run on the Vikings and they have a good secondary, what can you do? Absolutely. Nothing. 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 Just say what can you do. Adam Vinatieri is going to see like 85 minutes of play in this game. Yeah. Crazy. He's great. Okay, uh, 70 yarder, could you make it, Adam? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Well, I will say with this. A minute, with like a second left, the Colts seem to win games big when they should. They shouldn't, and I think I'm gonna make another bold prediction. Colts win big. Oof. Next game. Oof. Let's see what happens. Next up, we have irrelevant bowl two of the week. Mm-hmm. Your division. Yep. Jags so at exciting. Texans. Uh, extremely exciting. Uh, uh, what's his name? Blake Bortles against Brock Oswald. Oswald. Let me just say this. One of the best. He matchups is, ever. Manning, Peyton, it doesn't get better. All over it yeah. in the next generation. Um, I'm just going to say one thing. Texans, just because they're going to win the division and again make the playoffs. Mm-hmm. And First round, negative. literally, not, like, they're going to score negative points <laughs> and get out. And, and then this piece. whole year will have been completely wasted for the entire division, uh, as is tradition. <laughs> uh, so, Texans, and that's it. Okay, Michael. Uh, Jags are terrible. And Texans have a very good secondary, so I'm going to go with them. Okay. Texans. I don't want to say anything. Texans. Uh, the real thing is, how many picks is Blake Bortles going to have? I mean, he has 11 pick sixes in his whole and career. And he, he has 10 wins. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Next game. <laughs> Next game, the start of the 4 o'clock in the afternoon games, we've got the New Orleans Saints um, with a high-flying offense that is showing flashes of extreme brilliance. Not last week. Yeah. Not last week, <clears throat> but in general. Versus the, not St. Louis Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals. Oh. The other Redbird team. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys got? Two very capable teams here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pick the Saints. Uh, the Cards are done for the year. They're not making the playoffs. Mm-hmm. It's a lost season. I think that team's completely deflated. The Saints still have hope to make the playoffs. They're going to fight hard. Saints are... I, they, it's literally a real, like, 1% chance. Well, yeah, so everyone chance. else has to lose. <laughs> Which your division is very capable of doing so. Like, so, just no, saying... still another wild card, you know? Like yeah, wild I don't know if you remember the game we were at. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's the Bucks to me right now. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't, you haven't watched the game in five weeks. I haven't. So, I'm going to choose the Cardinals because uh, the Saints are... Uh, You're just a hater, bro. Uh, the Saints are, aren't that great. Because, uh, obviously, if the Bucks could... Obviously, the Bucks, because they're so shit, could absolutely make Drew Brees look like an idiot. We've never, ever field. even spoken shit about the Bucks at no. all. We just don't week, make them irrelevant play. Irrelevant bowl. Irrelevant bowl. <laughs> they fucking suck. That was two seasons ago. ago. Last season we were actually very favorable. No, that was last week. Two years ago. Last week. I gave them credit. I I give the bucks. No, no, I'm not talking about you. So I got the Saints. You got the cards. You guys go. Uh, I picked the Bucks. No, wait, that's (laughs) wrong matter. You know, I really like Drew Brees. I really like Drew Brees, but I also, you know, Bruce Arians. I liked him a lot until recently, because now I just see him as like a. A balder version of Dom DeLuise. <laughs> so, I mean, he just, he, he calls some risky plays. You know what he reminds me of, honestly? The NFL version of Peter LaViolette, where yeah. it's great the first season, and then people start figuring figuring you out yeah. like, later on. And just uh, doesn't work. They're, they're just, again, he said they're deflated, but they're at home. You know, when the pressure's off, sometimes you might just pull it out of your ass. But, I don't know, Carson Palmer right now is not impressing me. I'm just, I'm picking for 
Uh, well, regardless of, of any of, uh, you know, Carson Palmer and all these things and the Cardinals struggling, mm -hmm. they still have a very good defense. And very David underrated. Johnson. And they have David Johnson, I was about to say that, who would literally be an MVP candidate if they were, on, if they were winning because he's been playing that well. Stud. He is arguably the best running back this season. I'm going with the cards. Saints can't stop anything, so I don't know how they're going to stop David Johnson. All right, let's see. On to the next game, which promises to be highly exciting. Next up, we have another irrelevant bowl. Um, and again, back to the meaning of irrelevant bowl. Doesn't have any implications going <laughs> forward. No, 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 no. Our team if, sucks. If the Niners, if the Niners, no, there's the multiple the Falcons. I mean, no implications was there. there. <laughs> it was that one. Niners at Falcons. Go ahead. We all know that the Niners are an elite team this year. Yeah, Chip um, as Aaron Lynch Morgan said, the yeah. uh, linebacker of the Niners, like we are one of the most talented teams in the league. We just need a a yeah. good coach. Not yeah, good. sure. <laughs> we just need a revamp. Yeah, of everything. Um, yeah. I'm just I'm just still trying to do the math on how Colin Kaepernick fits all that hair in the helmet. <laughs> um, it's it, probably like really hollow. Yeah, it's, it's just, just like a, a like a helmet. It's, a, it's like a bubble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It compress, <laughs> and the air goes out of his ears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, I can't take that team seriously for a second. Uh, Falcons are actually very good. They put up about 42 points last week. Yep. Fantastic. Scored more touchdowns in one game than the Rams did all year. So. Yeah, no Julio, no Sanu. Yeah, yeah exactly. so you, you bring back the Sanu canoe, and it's, it's on, <laughs> like Donkey Kong. Oh. So I'm picking the Falcons because they're everywhere. birds of prey, and I don't even know what a 49er is. So let's go Falcons. <laughs> Uh, Niners suck. Falcons. Or Eric, Falcons. Falcons. I'm going to pick the Falcons too, but I will say this. Chip Kelly has beaten the Falcons a couple times. So he's an Eagles coach. Uh, well, probably won't play any relevance. You didn't beat him last year. No, but the two years prior, we, we did. That counts. Not the Robinson. In a bird. So that was Andy Reid, though. That was in, a bird. In a bird. bird. That was See, that, bird. that, that. You know, you're 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 but Chip Kelly sucks. <laughs> I'm just saying that there, there's a chance. Oh, like, he was good last year. No, no, he wasn't. Well, let's see what happens, but right, the money's on the Falcons. Yeah. Safe money is on the Falcons. Yeah. Next game. All right, so next up, we got my Oakland Raiders heading into our, uh, I like to call it our second home, San Diego. Basically, uh, our home game. Uh, the Raiders. Exactly, the Raiders. What do you guys uh, have uh, winning this one? Well, you're in San Diego. They've been surprising at points this season, the Chargers. They're not a bad say. team. They're not a bad team. The Raiders, Probably. very impressive. Very impressive team. They play on discipline and they still win. You know, it's uh, not every team can do that. Exactly. Raw talent. And plus, uh, Jack Del Rio's hair. Can we all agree? Perfect. Flawless all the time. One of the sexiest coaches. Yeah. With that headset, you just think, man, I wish I looked like him at that age. Yeah. With a big pot belly. And yeah. Team but he, right it's a dad bod. He's a 100%. Still. <laughs> still. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, I want him to raise my children. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So, nice. basically, now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, I think the Raiders. Uh, By the way, wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, we're one game, one win away. If we, Shut up! If we win this game, we're making it. We clinch a playoff spot. So just keep that in mind. Maybe we'll choke it up, or maybe we'll, you know. But did they win last week? No. No. There you go. Will they bounce back? This is a test. Test it's, is the it's, best. Can you bounce back and make the playoffs in the same week? That's a lot of good for one week. Rarely happens, but. You know what? They're on ten days rest too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it, I think I think they're gonna do it. I think uh, the Chargers, uh, good team, but it's gonna be a close one. But I think the Raiders gonna win. Eric, I'll go with the Raiders. Well, uh, I'm gonna pick the Chargers just because I think that the Raiders are finally gonna major. start. And and the biggest not unless you uh, forgot, uh, you know, your boy and somewhat my boy, Marquette King, because he's a Green Ranger fan. And, you know, I love Power Rangers. Uh, reportedly slept with Kim Kardashian. Yeah, even though he and hasn't that, ever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously he's gonna say, "Hey, straight up, by the way, Kanye, I fucked your wife." Because he's gonna straight up and say it like that, you idiot. Obviously he's not. He's a punter. Why would she get that? Because yeah, he's an idiot, and he, she, she likes. She dated. She married Chris Humphries. No one knew who the hell this guy was until he got. He's not. I don't even think he's in the NBA anymore. That's how bad of a player he is. Marquette King one has the, that power of to the overcome the that curse. Of the story is. First of all, J uh, Jason Kelsey, not Jason Kelsey, Travis Kelsey has better dance moves than he does. And second of all, uh, whoever dates Kim Kardashian and whatever team they play on usually ends up being shit forever. And not to mention, uh, 
Khalil Mack loves to dab, and the dab is 0 and 4 in uh, in any championship situation. So, oh, is this a so, championship situation? So, well, it, it, it's playoff implications. So, I'm picking the Chargers. All right, that's. That's some serious astrological well, I, I, stuff. I, I, right I think the Rangers are going to get cold going into December. That's my actual football analysis right, right there. So. There we go. Okay. Also a lot of good advice in there, too. Yeah, Actually. don't date dumb bitches. Yeah. Or fuck them. Will the Kardashian curse live on, or will the second home pay off? We'll see. Next game. Next we have the greatest team in the world playing what used to be the greatest team in the world last season. Or the beginning of the year. And no Peyton, no party. <laughs> you got the New England Patriots, literally the most consistently good team of the last quarter century, uh, versus the Denver Broncos, current defending Super Bowl champions, uh, minus their Hall of Fame quarterback that retired in the offseason. So, you know, I am going to say right away, the Patriots. <laughs> are amazing, and I hate them for that. <laughs> I really do. I despise them, uh, but I, I love Bill Belcher. I love his attitude and everything he does. That's if he was a Colts coach. Oh, I would, I would literally, I don't think I'd ever do anything but watch football all day. I, I, even if the game was over, I'd just repeat watching his <laughs> jack off. Just to see, yeah, just to see Bill what Belcher. he does. Because uh, he is like the perfect human being. We're and, to, to uh, Jacksonville. Yeah, we're, we're on Seattle. Uh, Tom Brady just, just set the record for all-time wins. How do you feel about that? It's a very nice accomplishment. We're on to uh, the next team now. We're kind of focused. Um, yeah, I, I see the Patriots. I mean, Broncos' defense, obviously amazing. But Patriots have been there. They've done that. Uh, they didn't get through them in the playoffs last year, but I think that had more to do with divine intervention than anything else. Basically. Uh, so I'm going Patriots on this one. David? I'm still thinking. So. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Michael? Well, I was gonna say uh, I was gonna make a little link here. Uh, in Denver, link? in Denver, Colorado, uh, you could smoke some weed, and uh, a guy on the uh, Patriots has uh, Chris name of, Big uh, Blunt. Uh, <laughs> blunt, and he's playing very well, the Garrett. So I see him running all over the Denver defense, and Tom Brady's gonna pick apart that. Very yeah, they're gonna play clock control 100%. Yeah, they're, gonna, they're gonna win this game. They're not gonna take every little risk. They're gonna do me a solid and beat. Yeah. I'm going to go for the surprise pick and go for Broncos. I just have, like, I don't know, deep down there, you know, you feel that feeling? <laughs> but well, I know I'm wrong. I know, I know they're never going to win, but I'm just going to pick them. You never know Tom Brady's 2-7 in well, well, Denver. So I, it's a tough place to play. I, I, I'm going to pick uh, the Broncos uh, just because I don't see them losing back-to-back -back games with a lot of playoff implications on the line, especially after a really tough loss to the Titans. So, Broncos. We got two good coaches, Belichick and uh, what's his name there, Kubiak. Uh, <laughs> the good yeah, coaches, good coach. his name. Yeah, what's his name there? <laughs> that, 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 the young guy there who's been yeah. in the league for like 100 years. He yeah, was in the hospital for three days. So. <laughs> he has good hair too. He's very good hair. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. I mean, it's a great, this is a, an all time great. This match. should be the prime time. Game. Yeah, it should be. It's I don't know how that game. crap next got <laughs> flexed. Uh, no. But anyways. I don't know, maybe because the hottest team in the NFL right now. Oh, well, well, let's right, see well, in the we'll next see what prediction. What's going on? This is the first year in six years that I'm seeing relevant Buccaneers football. <laughs> Yo, this is the first time in 13 years I'm seeing relevant Raiders football. Like, and I haven't even been watching football for this is Me the and you year are like, trying not to kill ourselves. No, well, well, all this talk about relevant Bucs football is reminding me of the time that the Buccaneers uh, beat the Oakland Raiders in the Super Bowl with the great, the great coach. Who got traded. The great coach, <laughs> Mr. Gruden. Yeah. Uh... Going back to XYZ more. Banana provides the best Monday night analysis. Yeah. So just carry Spider on to with the introduction here about to this game. The, the white hot Buccaneers. Yeah. The white hot Buccaneers going into Jerry's God's world. home. Mm. That beautiful stadium. Beautiful shopping mall. In Dallas. Full of loyal fans. And loyal right. people. Yeah. Loyal fans. people. <laughs> no offense to anyone in Dallas, of no, course. But love that. Dallas. How many, how many Dallas, uh, how many people in Dallas are watching this? Probably game? none. Maybe four. Four, yeah. Yeah. Maybe four. <laughs> All four are not Cowboys fans. Because <laughs> they see the Eagles, she's like, oh, fuck this shit. Let me see this crap. <laughs> yeah. uh, not not today. Not <laughs> <laughs> Just like in Tampa, not now. Okay. Bucks at Cowboys. Air can't pick. I'm picking the Bucks. Oh. Fuck the Cowboys. What? 
I will say I'm this. Surprised. Yeah. yeah. In <laughs> Dallas, Dallas just suffered an embarrassing defeat. They were riding in this long we them boys, oh we them boys. And all the fans of course came out of the woodwork as they usually do. And of course, when it comes time to just get to the dance and start dancing, they tie their shoelaces together yes, and they're and an an the parts. waiting to, to happen. happen. Yeah. Exactly. Me, yeah. Stephen A, Wait. Max Kellerman, yeah. we're all together on this. Yeah. Fuck the Cowboys. There's a black cat walking around that franchise. <laughs> now, the Buccaneers <laughs> on Jones. the rise. These and these, and you know, I, I always criticize James Winston for not making good decisions. He's been making very for good a decisions. Stealing a lobster legs or whatever. Yes. It was. Okay. But. <laughs> but. How many times are you gonna hear? I didn't even know story? about that until you pointed it out in Tampa. So <laughs> he's, he's making your very fault. very good decisions. So I I will actually go with the Bucks. I think this is one of their first real primetime games. You know, and this is where moments. <laughs> no offense. This is where cosmic things happen, and. You know, a lot of people will be picking the Cowboys to bounce back. It was one lost division. Makes sense. No, I think this is Bucks time. I don't like the fact that you guys are picking them now. <laughs> well, I will say, well, look, I will never mind. pick the Cowboys. I picked the Bucks every week that they've played, by the way. This uh, I think so. For a good, good chunk. I don't like every week. Good chunk. They were really yeah. bad at the beginning. You weren't. Yes, I was. No. <laughs> I yes, I was. I was here, okay? I'm gonna so pull up, I was here. I'm going to pull up the, the thing. Did you pick it? No, I did not pick it. Um... Honestly, if there's one thing that's underrated is I think I saw a stat today. It's like the Bucks have have been like the stingiest defense the past seven weeks. Thirteen points allowed. Thirteen in the points past allowed. Four or five weeks. And it's not even close. And Seth, and Seth, Seth, Seth Rollins. They, the they've caused scored they've a touchdown caused, over time. They have a, defense is is let's not just, let's it too much. They have, the same defense. They have a turnover defense. differential not, in the past se seven day, seven seven day, seven weeks. Of seven plus days. fifteen, and that's gonna help them out. Number I think. One in the league. I think that that they're gonna be able to stop the run with Levante David and. You gotta remember this. It's not about stopping, forcing. Seat. Yes, it's it about is. avoiding getting chokeholds against that shitty O line that Dallas has is the best in football, and the and the refs you know opening their eyes to actual calls. You know what's actually the best in football? Fuck the Raiders O line. Anyways, I'm going with the Bucks on this one. Oh, I, I think the I think they're gonna stop the run and force Prescott to throw downfield in third and long, which is ex He's exactly ready. what they want to avoid. It's not their mo, and it's exactly what the Buccaneers want to Look, do. If you, if it's in, it. it's in Dallas. It's in prime time. That means the refs are getting a little extra cut. You guys are gonna get fucked up the ass with, course, with blown calls because you're used to it. No, you you're don't know what it's it. like to play the Cowboys in prime time. I literally do it every year. The okay. Raiders have the most penalties by. But it's not three. about the penalties. It's about the non-penalties. The chokes. Fletcher Cox. I don't know how his neck hasn't snapped off yet. Okay? Next game. Jesus. Fuck. Some serious rage. I fucking Cowboys. hate the Cowboys. They, they block do. well. They, they don't deserve hard. that record. Monday Night Football. Last game of week uh, 15. Important game for me again. Playoff implications. Dun, 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 I wonder dun, dun, who you're going to pick. Dun, dun, the shitty dun, Panthers dun, dun, dun. are running into Washington to play... Uh, the, the the Washington franchise, yeah. um, <laughs> and I don't I don't not address it because of any racist. I don't address it because I don't like yeah. the Washington franchise. Um, Why are you concerned? So uh, I'm gonna just throw off my pick. I usually throw it off to you mm -hmm. guys, but I'm picking the Panthers. What a surprise! Um, even though the Panthers suck and I hate them, I definitely don't hate them as much as I hate the Redskins. Even though the Redskins, uh, with the, all, uh, if you put that cheap hit to Sproles aside, where you literally tried to murder him, <laughs> that that you should be fucking arrested. And and prosecuted and thrown in fucking go. jail for theft, as Stephen A would say. But uh, uh, the Redskins actually played a decent game against us last week, and because uh, they are a good team, you know, they, they they proved that they that you know they were they were decent. Yeah, they're, they're the team I hate the least in my division. Okay. So, so, team a little yeah, bit if great. I had to pick a team to win the division other than the Eagles, it would be nobody. But but obviously I I you know if he'd be less mad. Exactly. Right. So I got the Panthers winning this one though. I'm gonna say this. Panthers let Josh Norman go, and he feels oh, hurt by true. that. He oh, was I hurt. He said, that. I thought I was a franchise player. And you guys are saying, just walk? Walk? Well, to I the will, greatest team in the NFL? I, I will. The Redskins? <laughs> that is After true. the Rams, the Colts. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the, the Patriots. The Patriots. The Browns. The, Browns, the Broncos. Uh, the Lions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, I say this. Norman... He, he knows how to get into players' skin, especially former players that are now mad that they're losing so much. You know, he might be able to poke the bull a little bit. Uh, so, I think the Redskins being at home in a primetime situation might 
might pull one out of the hat. I mean, the Panther season has been collapsing just at a faster and faster pace, and I don't see it getting better. It I, might. I, I, but I, will, I, will, I will say this. Are you uh, saying that the Red Sun's going to pull it out of the hat? Yeah. Okay. Why? Like a rabbit. Yeah, like a rabbit. Like it's like not that it's hard a magic of a game. Trip. It's not that hard of a it's matchup. A, it, no, but the Redskins are not a great team. They're they're Panthers, considering how lethal they were the last year, they're the same team. They're an eight. What were they? Eight and four and one. Eight. No, seven five. Seven five and one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say this though. Uh, Josh Norman. Apparently, he's having a great year. He is. Uh, he uh, did nothing corner, against bro. the Eagles. Shut down. And we have no wide receivers. He didn't need to do anything. He did nothing. They won. Good. They barely won. Uh, and speaking all, of, all I know is that the uh, the Redskins have some really uh, have shown last week that they have some really hard hitting players and they'll lay the fuck and yeah. smack it down. I, I, don't know. Know. Yeah. I, hope, I hope I hope Darren Sproles somehow you get this message. You're my dude. You're my favorite player. Maybe one of the all time favorites. This guy's a piece of shit. His Raiders are gonna be shit again. Mark my words. We're gonna win a Super Bowl together. Much love to Darren Sproles. Get, get Who are you picking? Some Who are you picking? A secondary Who are you pick? uh, yeah, yeah, how about question. you get a, a, a stadium to play in instead of a fucking sewer? Oh, so, uh, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather win in the oh, sewer. Oh, win in the sewer. Not win really? I'd rather, I'd rather win, okay, for 15 years than get a fluke season and then be back to shit next year because you have no corners. You have fucking no depth. Your O line is just hot. It's not good. <laughs> Alright, it's the same O line as last year. Derek Carr. Anyways, who you guys are picking? I'm picking the Redskins, okay. alright? Johnny. Redskins. Eric. Aren't you guys not supposed to shit on each other anymore? He's not supposed to shit on me. Oh, no. You wouldn't just say that Darren Sproles literally <laughs> almost got murdered. I said they were hard hitting team. He did not play the smack. I didn't. Speak it was the stuff. fucking dirtiest hit in the Can fucking history. Can we just agree? Can we just agree? We're all just mad because the Patriots have at some point ruined all of our seasons. No. Yeah. Oh, 04. No. Oh, 03. No. Oh, 09. Not oh, 03. No. Oh, oh, 01. Maybe. Oh, 01. Oh, 09. Whatever. Oh, 01. Okay, who's your pick? Redskins. <sighs> Why not? So you're on the Redskins. I'm Just on the jump, jump on. Alright, well, on. thank you for watching. I'm <laughs> surrounded by idiots. Like, comment your oh, picks. Wee. Share the video down uh, with your friends. And please subscribe oh, if you haven't, guys. Wee. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you all next week. You like that.